The Gilgit manuscripts, which were found in the village of Nopur in the 1930s now in the Gilgit Baltistan region of Pakistan are one of the most finds of important Asian manuscripts. Explorer Oral Stein, who was passing through the area at the time the manuscripts were first discovered, reported the find in a newspaper article. He describes that one day in July 1931, some shepherd boys watching their flocks near Nopur village about two miles west of Gilgit cantonment, cleared a piece of timber sticking out on top of a small stone-covered mound. Removal of some stones on the top of the mound brought to notice a wooden box in a dome-shaped chamber. On operating it, the wooden box revealed four other small wooden boxes containing a number of ancient manuscripts. This priceless treasure was fortunately taken possession of by the wazir i Wazirat or district officer of Gilgit before it was too late. Later the manuscripts were sent to Srinagar under the orders of Maharaja Hari Singh who asked his prime minister to have them published. One day in July 1931, some shepherd boys watching their flocks near Nopur village about two miles west of Gilgit cantonment, cleared a piece of timber sticking out on top of a small stone-covered mound. Removal of some stones on the top of the mound brought to notice a wooden box in a dome-shaped chamber. On operating it, the wooden box revealed four other small wooden boxes containing a number of ancient manuscripts. This priceless treasure was fortunately taken possession of by the wazir i Wazirat or district officer of Gilgit before it was too late. Later the manuscripts were sent to Srinagar under the orders of Maharaja Hari Singh who asked his prime minister to have them published. Fortunately the Maharaja's government, at the instance of its chief secretary, Pat Ramachandra Kag decided to do so on their own and provided the necessary facilities to doctor. The, who with the assistance of Vidyavaridhi Shivnath Sharma, a Kashmiri Pandit, Prof. D.M. Bhattacharya and others edited and translated some of the manuscripts. The Gilgit manuscripts, about five dozen in number, vary from nine inches to about two feet in length and from two inches to about five inches in breadth. The language of these texts is Sanskrit while the vocabulary is derived from ancient Buddhist texts in Prakrit. Birch bark Bhojputra, is found in the Himalayas at an elevation of 14,800 feet. The white paper of the tree was used for writing Sanskrit, scripts and texts. According to Jens Uwe Hartman, the text is written on palm leaf, a material mostly used in India and Nepal. It is believed that the Gilgit manuscripts probably traveled west from one of the Buddhist kingdoms along the Silk Route. At that time, Gilgit was a major trade center of the Silk Route. They are written mostly in upright Gupta script. According to Dr. Nalainiksha that the manuscripts may have been written in the 5th, the 6th or at the latest in the 7th century AD. But it is not likely that some of them may be of an earlier date. About the motives which inspired this pious work he adds, the only plausible explanation that we can offer is that well-to-do persons seeking merit by propagating the dharma sostros as enjoined in the Buddhist texts had the sacred texts copied for them and deposited in a sacred place like a stupa. This also accounts for the names of the donor, his relatives and friends appearing in the colophons of some of the MSS. One of the donors mentioned as Shrideva Shahi Surendra Vikramaditya Nanda. He appears to have been the ruler of Gilgit and may have been related to either the Gupta rulers of Kashmir or as doctor. That points out to Vikramaditya who ruled the valley towards the close of the 6th century AD. The queens of Surendra Vikramaditya are also mentioned. They are Shami Devi Trelokya Devi and Willi. The scribe of the king's manuscript was named Aryasthira Budhi and his collaborator Narendra Datta. Besides the king, the other donors mentioned are Shulkhina, Shulivajra, Mamoti, Manglashura and Aryadevendra Bhutta. The manuscripts so far edited and published include Company. The language of these texts is Sanskrit while the vocabulary is derived from ancient Buddhist texts in Prakrit. Birch bark Bhojputra is found in the Himalayas at an elevation of 14,800 feet. The white paper of the tree was used for writing Sanskrit, scripts and texts. According to Jens Uwe Hartman, the text is written on palm leaf, a material mostly used in India and Nepal. It is believed that the Gilgit manuscripts probably traveled west from one of the Buddhist kingdoms along the Silk Route. At that time, Gilgit was a major trade center of the Silk Route. The majority of the Gilgit manuscripts are now held at the Indian National Archives in New Delhi, India followed by the Sri Pratap Singh Museum in Srinagar, while a small collection is held at the British Library, London and Karachi Museum. Opinions vary about the date of these manuscripts as one group of scholars says that the Gilgit manuscripts were written in the 2nd century, while the other group places them between the 6th and 7th century.